Hi, my name is Cheryl Mathis. I am the Low Incidence Consultant at Kentucky Valley Educational Cooperative. Today, I will be discussing planning with paraprofessionals in the complex needs classroom. Let's get started. Have you ever been involved in a teamwork situation where you worked with other adults? Specifically, a situation where teamwork was necessary to benefit a student. As school staff, we are required to work together under many different conditions with other adults to serve the needs of students. Sometimes it may feel as if your teammates are playing on different teams. Those classroom situations are tough, especially if you don't understand work styles and preferences of the other adults on your team. Today, I would like to share a tool to help teachers and paraprofessionals learn styles and preferences of each other so they can be an excellent team. About 20 years ago, I attended a splash training in Kentucky, and this tool was provided as a handout. The tool does not have a citation noting the original author. Please note this is not my original work. However, I have utilized this tool many times over the last 20 years. I have clipped samples of the tool to share with you within this PowerPoint presentation. A link to a full blank copy of this tool will be provided at the end of the presentation. So, as you can see, the four-part tool begins with a survey of a teacher and paraprofessional work styles and preferences. 25 questions make up the scale. Questions are related to supervision, punctuality, and independence, to mention only a few. The nature of the questions are the same on both the teacher version and the paraprofessional version. To administer this survey, both the teacher and paraprofessional independently completes one survey each. There is a specific survey copy for a teacher and a specific survey copy for a paraprofessional. The questions are similar in nature on each survey, although the questions may be adjusted slightly for each profession. For example, question number five discusses a work schedule. The item is stated from the point of view of the paraprofessional on the paraprofessional survey and from the point of view of the teacher on the teacher survey. I would suggest reviewing the scale and making clear that a 5 is in agreeance with the item while a 1 is in disagreement with the item before independently completing the survey. Just make sure those who are completing the survey understand how it should be completed for the most successful results. Also, it is possible for a team of paraprofessionals and a couple of teachers to work together to complete these. The third section of the tool is a work style score comparison chart. The section allows a comparison of the teacher answers and the paraprofessional answers. Both teacher and paraprofessional answers will need transferred onto this sheet. Remember, this is the fun part. The comparison sheet is intended to be a model for communication about how the team of two or more will work together. This is the fun part where discussion about each question can be had. My personal favorite question is number 20. The question reads, I am a morning person. As the teacher completing this survey or the paraprofessional completing this survey, you determine on a scale of one to five whether you agree or disagree with this statement, or you could agree somewhat in the middle. If I was on your team, this may be a good piece of information for me to know. However, many teammates don't know these things about each other and don't consider individual preferences when working as a team. Imagine for a moment that you and your teammates have discussed that one specific teammate is not a morning person. Perhaps this teammate has mentioned to the team that they are often grumpy until they've had their morning coffee. Think about how this information could shape the work of your team. 
How might the teamwork be shaped differently to promote better outcomes for the team? More discussion questions are listed in the final section. Understanding work styles and preferences of all teammates provide more understanding about how to work together for the better of your students. Remember, there are no right answers and there are no wrong answers. For a complete blank copy of the work style and preference tool, go to the link on the screen or use the QR code. Please remember, as noted previously, the author of this tool is unknown. Again, my name is Cheryl Mathis with the Kentucky Valley Educational Cooperative. Please contact me as needed for additional information.